Alrighty, honey buns. Take your love vitamin. I'm coming back for a part two. I know I said I wasn't going to do it. Somebody wants to make you aware of something. This person, they don't just want sex with you. They want intimacy with you. Somebody here could have changed a lot. You, them, the both of you all. This person wants to collide with you, your mind, your body, and your spirit. This is someone who wants to have an experience with you. Sex is going to be the bonus. It's your present. It's your energy. They love your physical, but it's your energy. You have a power or strength like no other. This is someone who wants to kind of I hear like come in and sup with you. There's something that this person has realized about your vibration, realized about your, your, your like, I don't know. I, Cause I hear like the, the matter to the things that you do is something they've realized about your aura, your energy. I heard, I'm even hearing your status. They've realized something and this person wants to make you aware of something from them. This is someone that they haven't expressed themselves this way and you've not had an experience with this person this particular way. They want to make you conscious of something. Holy Spirit, what is this person trying to make the collective conscious of? What do they want the collective to be conscious of, Holy Spirit? I will do a part two and get explicit um, in the sex part. I'm trying to keep you away from the drama in their life. This is someone that has a lot of respect for you, more than you realize. So someone here, or most of you all here, you don't hear from this person. It's because they respect you. It's something, see, I'm being drawn to this angel right here. It's something about you, your, your purity. This person thinks that you are a pure spirit a pure energy. I I also hear the love of my life. You are my friend. That you you are someone that they do regard as a friend, an angelic friend. They can regard you as an earth angel. Like I also hear the word healer. It's something very significant about you. They love your physical, but it's your energy. It's your spirit. I hear you have presence. When you walk by this person, when you all look at each other eye to eye, you feel them, they feel you. They've never experienced that. This person has enough respect for you. It could be because you do, some of you all, you could have a certain status. Um, people could look up to you or what's that? What's that word? Um say like titles like they don't want to make you look bad that's been their concern your spirit is pulling this person that's why they want to they want to connect to you from another level that's why they want intimacy they would love to lay with you because i keep hearing Yes, I love your physical, but it's your energy. There's something pure-hearted about you. This person never, they never wanted to hurt you. Whatever has happened, they didn't intend for this to go down the way it did. Give me one more card. What else they want to make the collective aware of? And they like when you eat these pineapples here, so you know what that means. Oh, my God. I want to freak you. Yeah. <clears throat> What else are they trying to make the collective aware of? Ooh, goodness, child. You knock this person down. I hear that song, you really turn me on. You knock me off of my feet. Their lonely days are nothing when they're around you. This person sees you in their dream. This could be someone. The reason why they want to be intimate is because they've had a very intimate encounter about you. They loved every second that they are with you, around you. This is somebody, uh-uh, child. This person masturbating, wearing themselves out to your videos, your pictures. They are craving your touch. Mm -hmm. They want to be with you. You may not feel like this person doesn't want me, A-E-L. They do. But those of you all that know how to tap in, in the spirit, this person has tapped into you in the spirit in a very healthy way. They see your pure heart. They see your glow. They see your innocence. And this is someone that just wants an opportunity. What they're trying to make you aware of, they want an opportunity to right their wrong. There has been some wrong done on their behalf, and they want to acknowledge that and do better. 
because they have become and they're becoming better. This person has a lot of respect for you. They admire the way you carry yourself. All right. Let's get uh what's going on, what's going on right now? This intimacy. The color white is very significant. Um, this could be somebody's favorite color. The nine of cups and the eight of cups. You could have walked away from this person. They've been praying, hoping, wishing. You are their wish come true. Somebody could have asked for a certain, you know, like, you know how we pray and say, Lord, I wish I had a husband. I wish I had a wife. I wish I had a girlfriend. I wish I had a boyfriend. For some of you all here, when you came into this person's life, they weren't ready. They weren't prepared. They said something. This person didn't understand their strength. Uh, their ability to manifest the power of their words because I hear spoken words. This post, this person spoke something out of their mouth. You came into their life. They weren't ready. You were a wish and a prayer. They prayed and asked you to come. That's why they're holding on tight to you. Very tight. There's a very strong emotional connection between the two of you all. Very intimate. You can feel this person's vibration. You know when they're happy. You know when they're sad. You know when they're down. You know this person wants to, you know, not only lay with you. You know they want to, this person wants to ride with you. Spend all my time with you. You're turning this person on. You know this. You know you're turning them on. You, I hear um, connect. You know that you all are connected also. Someone here could be very, very intuitive or your intuition is, is just at an all-time high. And you know this person wants to make a move towards you. You know they're ready. You know they have been preparing. I hear this person. Yeah. This person is holding on to you. The four of pentacles came right back out. They're holding on to you. Some of you all, this, this could have been your first, I'm hearing, your, your first person you ever had sex with, the first person that you've been emotionally, truly intimate with, or your first love, because I hear my first love. I think that's a bond. This person can't get you out of their mind because you held them down. You've been there. You were their rock. You are not a member. You are the team. This person right here, been a, they realize the benefit of you being in their life. You could have also been a person that's very powerful, influential in their life, emotionally, very grounded, very stable. I hear the word balance. You brought about a certain level of balance. You help this person see more than what you realize. This person wants to be intimate with you on a physical level, but... They have attached themselves to the spiritual part of it. All right, what else? Yep, the star card. This person views you as a healer. And this person right here feels like you have that healing sex. There's something about your intimacy and sex and or sex that's out of this world is different. is like no other. And this person right here has been looking into your life. They know something about you and them that they've never spoken on. They've had dreams about it. They've gotten confirmations about it. They could have also gotten readings about it. But this person intuitively knows that you are the one for them, that you're meant to be along their side, that they're meant to take care of you. You're meant to take care of them, that you are meant to hold each other down. This person also realizes a power about love, respect, sex, intimacy. You broke walls around their heart that you may not have even known was there. Wow. Mm -hmm. The five of cups. There are a lot of things they wish this there there are a lot of things this person wishes they could change. They know that they've disappointed you. This person definitely is longer and missing you. There are many times this person wanted to make a choice, but they didn't know how. But now this person feels like I'm ready to fight for you. This is someone who's not gonna leave your life. Mm -mm. 
They're not going to leave your life at all. You know this person. You've been well acquainted with this person. They're not leaving your life. It's not the sex. It's the intimacy. They love your physical, but it is the intimacy. It's when they're empty, you can fill them up. They can feel your prayers. They can feel when you meditate and send them good vibes. When you pray for them, you pray for them as if you were praying for yourself. If this is someone that's very successful, they feel grateful to you because they feel like they have what they have or what they are accomplishing because of you, your prayers. If you've walked away from this person, they experience lack because this is someone that realized it's more than just chemistry. It's a connection. This is someone that's very, very protective over you. You became the love of their life by being a solid friend. This is someone out here I want to let you in. This person also has plans for you and plans for them. These are long-term plans as well as short-term plans. Give me something over here. Yep. The Eight of Wands. Definitely some um, conversation. They want This person right here wants to have conversations in the dark. The reason why is because they feel more relaxed. They feel more comfortable. You may make this person extremely nervous. This could be someone who's very emotional. Also, there is going to be an outburst of tears. Um, it could be when you all are conversation, conversating. It could also be in the... Um, in the act of intimacy, sexual intimacy on that level. This person right here wants to have conversations in the dark and they want to talk to you about you and them starting over. This is someone here who could, who could also tell you that, look, my life, I, I realized some things. When you came into my life, things got better. Then when you left, things got worse. If they pushed you away, they realized pushing you away was a mistake because you brought in peace. You brought in balance. You brought in healing. You brought in an awakening but you brought in intimacy is something that they've never had. Now, this person could have had sex with other people, but they've not been intimate with anybody. You are their intimacy. They can see into you. You can see into them. They can feel you from afar because they know that you all are noted from the stars. Give me something over here, Holy Spirit, please. This is going to be very deep. You all are going to be very emotional, either when talking to each other, there could be a touch, a burst of tears. When you make love again or make love for the first time, it's going to be like an aphrodisiac. This is someone who, ooh, child. This person has so much respect for you, they want to give you the world. I hear diamonds and pearls. Um, What's that song? Prince, diamonds and pearls. If they could, they would give you the world. But all they can do is just offer you their love. Oh, God, I got chills all over my body, y'all. Oh, my toes even wiggling. They want to offer you the world because you are their world. You are the one that made their world a better place. And now they want to start giving back to you. Man, this person, they didn't. They want an opportunity to show you who they are. They don't want to tell you much. They want to show you. This person is very protective over you because they view you. Let me sit right here. They view you as an innocent angel. I hear that song, Angel, You're My Angel. This is somebody who wants to kiss you, not just that sloppy stuff. When this person kiss, kiss you, it's going to leave an everlasting feeling, everlasting love. I'm going to put a few songs down below. This person has an everlasting feeling, an everlasting love for you, and eternal love. One card here. Dang. Yep. See here? The magician. This person is manifesting you big time. This is someone here who wants to make it right. But this is someone here who wants to see you. Something could be very precise at night. 
the only reason why is because it makes them more comfortable. But this person is on the way. Connection may be vague. They're just an exit away. They're on the way. This is going to shock somebody. It's going to shock you. And this is likely uh, going to make you very emotional. What I told you. The Ace of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. The Moon card. The Ten of Wands. This person is not having sex. The Celebrant. They're abstaining. They're not having sex. Because what they want is with you. It's not with anybody else. What they desire, what they acquire is with you. The Ace of Cups. This person is in love with you. They could not be sleeping at night. Because they got to make a choice. To be or not to be, that is the question. To be silent or not to be, that is the question. To be intimate or not to be, that is the question. This person right here, could it could have been 10 months that somebody hasn't had sex. Could have been 10 weeks. For some 10 days. I just was, I was just drawn to this number 10 here. But this person wants to make love to you. They want to be intimate. Very intimate. Because you fill their cup. You're their angel. I'm going to do a part two and I'll go more into sex on, on Patreon. I'll post it on the regular um tier. The person, somebody is very backed up. But somebody here could have been maybe a little over a year or more. Long, I hear a long time. This person had been having sex, honey. They've been masturbating, but they haven't touched anyone. No one is touching them. Something about bending this person right here. They definitely want to, they, they, somebody right here could love doggy, love you in doggy, or love you putting, you putting them in doggy. It's something about bending over, I just heard. Yep. This is somebody who is single. I'm done with the karmic. No more third party. It's you and me. Mm. This person wants to party with you, you and them. This cause some I hear celebrate good times. Come on. This person wants to celebrate good times. This person right here has been preparing themselves. Something tried to keep this person from you. I see, um, oh my God. Celie and Nettie. Nothing can keep me from her. Nothing's going to keep this person from you, but you. Nothing's going to keep this person from you. This person has made us, they made they, they, they made us a stand, honey, for their life because of love, because of intimacy, and because of you. There's something pure about you. To them, you're pure, you're innocent. You love your physical, but it's your energy, it's your spirit. I hear deep call it to deep. They recognize you now in the spirit. My God. This is going to be some amazing sex. Because you're going to be into Ooh, child has felt something just now. I, I got to stop because I should hush. Yep. I felt something, honey. This person going to... One of y'all or both of y'all is, is going to be different. From beginning to end, it's going to be different. This is going to be an experience. You have not had this type of experience with this person because something was trying to keep something or someone was trying to keep this person from being intimate with you. This is someone who fell in love with you from afar also. And the more they fell in love with you from afar, they realize y'all can't be friends. They realize you are the love of their life and they realize that it's you that they want to be intimate with. And they realize it's you. They want to open up and give their life to child. They want their hand. They want your hands on their body. They haven't felt this good mm, in a really long time, thanks to you. See, sometimes you know these karmic cycles, karmic situations that involve other people, things they try to keep you from this because there is no stopping you all. 
from this point. It is this, and this person realized this. I promise you, male or female, they have realized this. They ain't really stood in that. It's about being in your presence. They love your physical, but it's your energy. It's your spirit, honey. You got power to break a yoke. See, I got to go because I'm about to pop off in tongues. Child, let me go because you didn't done, done something to this person here because it's doing something to me. The sex is going to be a bonus. See, in separation, they woke up for the first time. This person was asleep. This is a Boaz and Ruth situation. When Boaz woke up and there she was right there. Ruth. See, somebody was asleep. The person that they fully awoke now, honey. All right. This person going to treat you real good. They're going to be intimate with you. Whatever you need, whatever you want, they, they're going to provide it. This is someone who's going to build and add to you. This is going to be an, a major ad set. This is why if you have had hard times coming together with this person, this is why you all have had many... um obstacles outside of this because it's, it's, it was the inside you all had a major principality i bet too all right mm -hmm. yep you sign your name right across their heart they want you to be their lady their babe their baby their man mm -hmm. let me be your house husband I will cook for you, take care of you, and make a home with you. This person wants life with you. Like I said, they want to be intimate with you. This is their face. After seeing you, after a day with you, I hear that song, you fill me up. Something, something, something. You fill this person up, honey. And yep, that's them. Yep, that's me. Sending you those telepathic messages through music. Intimacy. Part two is going to be on Patreon. Oh, let me do this right quick. Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, and Libra. Part two will be on Patreon. Great day. Namaste.